Yo, what is good? Cool we're back. Hope that all you guys are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'll be going through three websites that I wish I knew about sooner when I started as a video editor. These three websites are essentials when it comes to video editing and directing, and they're all free to use. So I'll be going through them step by step and how to use them and how they will affect your workflow when it comes to video editing. So let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna close down After Effects, and here I got the first website called Eye Candy. And this website I mainly use as inspiration and and kind of when it comes to planning when I'm shooting or editing music videos. When I have a thought in mind of an effect that I want to do, I can just go here and search up the effect and see how other people have used it. So if I go here and search for a match cut. And press right here. And just like that, I have a bunch of scenes from music videos and movies where people have used this technique. So all I really need to do is scroll down, find one that I like. And let's say that I'm really interested in this one. And they also have this download button right here. So you can download your file and you'll save it as a GIF. And I'll be using that to create mood boards. Yo, sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to let you guys know that I just dropped my Opium Preset Pack for Premiere Pro 2 and it doesn't need any paid plugins so it's beginner friendly and all you need to do is really download that and then you have all of these drag and drop effects that you can drag onto your scene as easy as that but I'll have it linked in the description for you guys and if you're interested you can go check that out but onto the video. So especially when it comes to pre-production when you're shooting music videos or even post-production when you're looking for inspiration for some VFX this website is really useful. It has all of these different techniques and the names of them so you can easily search up tutorials on how to do these effects. So this one is really an essential for all your video editors out there and I've been using this one for a while and it's great. Next up I have this website called Art of the Title. And this one is also pretty much inspiration and this one has a bunch of different titles from everywhere. So I'll be using this one for inspiration while I'm doing title cards for music videos. And just like with eye candy, you can just search up the style of the title that you want. So let's say that I want a sci-fi title. All I need to do is search that up and I have a bunch of sci-fi titles right here. And you can press on them and get some inspiration, which is really useful if you're burnt out or don't have too much inspiration for your projects that you're working on. So this one is really an essential. And I've been also using this one a lot and I'm not sponsored or anything yet, but I hope to be soon. But not for real, this one is really good. Has a bunch of different titles that you can get some really good inspiration from. That's mainly the reason why I use it so much, but that's a pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to go through it too much. I'll have a link to the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. But on to the next one. And the next website that I've been using a lot is this one called ideogram.ai. This one is an AI website that I'll be using to create like these AI type of images. Since I'm not the best at drawing or coming up with drawing ideas and I was working on this lyric video and they wanted some kind of drawn animation in the background and I had no idea how to do it. So I turned to this website, these type of drawn animation style pictures and also completely free. So I made all of these using the AI prompt. So all you really need to do is describe what you want. And I actually used ChatGPT. Uh, I told ChatGPT to give me an extremely detailed look of some cloud scene with hearts in the middle. And that's basically what it gave me. And all I need to do is copy paste that into the prompt and then just generate a picture out of that. You can see right here the prompt, a mesmerizing and vibrant blah, 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 all of that. So all I needed to do is copy that into right here and generate a picture. And the only downside that I have with this website is that you have to wait so long and I'm not doing that so I have to wait for some minutes. After you've got your AI image and it's done, all you need to do is save it as a JPEG file. And then I used this other website called Immersity AI and I just dragged my picture into that one and let it load for some seconds. And then it basically animated the whole picture for me and I didn't need to do anything at all. And this one is also free and with this AI you can just export the picture easy as that so using these ones together is actually a killer combo especially if you're working on some type of lyric videos that I did so I just saved a lot of time and didn't have to like draw anything like this for the background or animate it myself but this is how the whole lyric video kind of turned out
but that's it for today's tutorial i hope you guys learned some new but i'm happy i can share this with you all and thank you all so much for watching make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one